Hey there, Commanders. We got a busy week. Four concurrent community goals, three related to combat and one related to commodities delivery. The commodities community goal is taking place in Listi, uh, deliveries to the Chariot of Rhea. The target commodities are food cartridges, basic medicines, and evacuation shelters. About as abundant on the first two as you can get, while evacuation shelters are harder to come by. You can actually find a ton of food cartridges at Ani's Gateway, LFT 37 not too far from its central star at 281 light seconds. Um, it is far enough away from the CG from what I can tell that you probably want to have a fleet carrier, but if you're going to do direct trading with your ship, then this probably isn't terrible as long as you can make the jumps in a reasonable amount of time. But two million units of supply, you can basically have the entirely dangerous community parked outside this thing shoveling commodities into their into their carriers and it probably won't consume at all by the end of the week since uh, every system tick is going to be adding um, something to that quantity. Basic medicines, just shy of 200,000 tons and the same station once again pops up as a really good place to hit up. Um, it does have a black market which means that there's probably some NPC pirates floating around to be careful of so park as close to the station as you can manage. You got large pads, so Type Nines and Imperial uh, Imperial cutters are recommended to uh, maximize the amount of cargo you can carry per run. Evacuation shelters are not easy to find, frankly. The highest amount of supply you can find at any single station is at Mayport in Zeta Horology. Um, it's a little bit farther from its from its central star and a, you know a lot farther away from Seoul so it's gonna be a fair trip if you don't have a carrier and if you do there's only 18,000 units which one diligent commander could empty in a couple of uh, hours maybe you know four hours five hours of dedicated back and forth which isn't entertaining gameplay but the point here is um, it's probably not worth the effort so um, it does have the highest buy price relatively speaking uh, 224 credits per ton um, you are going to get a, a high premium for delivering to community goal systems, but note that this is probably not the most effective way to grind credits because basic medicines are worth even less, 172, and food cartridges, 33 tons. Yeah, um, this is not the most effective way to grind credits, so if you're in this for the money, you're probably better off chipping low temperature diamonds or painite off an asteroid somewhere. That's still one of the most reliable ways to make credits in this game provided you know where to sell for the maximum value. The other three community goals take place in a couple of different systems here. Uh, one is in Shyanji. I'm not always sure how to pronounce these names. Uh, the other is in Zalota. And the final one is in Lishima. Uh, these are each representing the individual superpowers. So Lishima is federal, Zalota is imperial, and uh, Kayanji is allied. So if you're looking to grind reputation with those specific factions for their respective grinds, except for the Alliance because they don't have a rank grind, um, then you'll want to be cashing in bonds and doing anti-Xeno work in either Lushima or Zolota. Um, it does build you good rapport with the local factions in this system. I th or no, this actually this will get you rep with the Pilots Federation, and a little bit of that rep goes to the superpower who hosts whatever system you're in. So uh, pick your poison there. The uh, most advanced of these goals, the one that's getting the most attention, is the one in federal space, which estimates 100% completion in a little over a week. You might see that change. Um, all of these campaigns are slated to end as soon as their target marks are hit. Um, yeah, we're already at Tier 8, but Tier eight's huge. So one week on this goal... Uh, this one's estimating, let's see, the Imperial one is estimating 51% completion in over a week, and the Allied one is trailing the most behind because there's less incentive to participate rank-wise, so most people are focusing on the uh, Empire and the Federation. Uh, as for anti-Xeno builds, I've only got a few detailed on my channel, and I'm probably not going to be able to get to a ship build before this comes to an end. If you're curious about how to get into this bad boy, uh, to learn how to fight, Thargoids, then I recommend the Anti-Xeno Initiative. I'm actually a member on their Discord. It's been a while since I've participated, but I've familiarized myself with a lot of their resources, and most of the builds that I'm going to show you are either cheese I've come up with based on my own ideas using their 
builds as a framework or a loose principle, or they're just outright clones of things that are on their websites. So um, take a look over there if you're interested. I'll see about getting to a Thargoid video hopefully at some point, but I'm so busy in my personal life right now that I've struggled to even make this one video a week. So uh, unfortunately, <clears throat> that's uh, all I've got for today. So I will catch you guys later.